Watching, uh, we're reacting to the top 10 plays of all time in the WNBA. A lot of people like to hate on the WNBA because, you know, it's just not, it's, 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 it's I'm gonna be honest, because they're girls. And I don't wanna get too political, I don't, I don't wanna say too much, but like, I'm reacting to this because I know it's about to be some bangers. It's about to be some bangers in, in this video. Alright? I'm a, I'm a, for all y'all people that want to say, oh, it's born, born, yeah, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna change that, bro. Top 10 plays, this is gonna decide if this is actually born or not. This, this video right here. If you're new to my channel, don't be shy to subscribe. I do, uh, reactions, vid, reaction vids, games, uh, skits, IRL, I'm, I'm gonna do everything, I'm gonna do everything. But, um, yeah, let's get it. Let's do. 2016, game one of the Top 10, NBA number 10. Final. Sparks and links. Game title is okay. 76. Elena Beard hitting the corner jumper oh at the buzzer, giving okay. the Sparks the win. Please look Damn. at this again. So clutch. Top 10. Beard had just two points before making the game winner. That was nice. That's a Curry play right there. All right, number nine goes back to June of 2017. Diana Tarazi trying to break Tina Thompson's all time scoring record. There it is, the bunny inside. And look at that, Kobe. Kobe Bryant, man. Rest in peace, man. Daughters were at the game. Rest in peace, Kobe. Tarazi, the only WNBA player to eclipse 8,000 points. At number eight, July 17, 2018, in her first season back in the WNBA after playing overseas for five years, Liz Cambage scored a WNBA single game record 50. She carried the fuck out of her. Lead the league in scoring that season. Number seven. Go back to 2008. Candace Parker was a rookie. She became just the second WNBA player to dunk in a game. I'm going to show you the first one in just a minute, but Parker would dunk again in the Sparks' next game. She went on to become the only WNBA player to win both the MVP and Rookie of the Year in the same season. All right, so then at number six, David, May 27th, all the way back in 2013, her WNBA debut, Brittany Griner, she became the first WNBA player to dunk not once but twice in a game. And it only took Griner one game to tie Parker for most career dunks. We would assume she's she's thrown a few more down mm -hmm. since then. Uh, number five, 2015 finals, game three, Lynx and Fever, Maya Moore. Drilling it. The three at the buzzer to give Minnesota the win. Ooh. Minnesota went on to win the series in five games, their third title in five years for the Lynx. At number four, July 30th, 2002, Lisa Leslie becoming the first player in WNBA history to dunk in a game. One of the many achievements for Leslie, who would lead the Sparks to their second straight title that season. Number three, 2019 playoffs, the Aces against the Sky. Derricka Hamby intercepts the pass. Oh. <laughs> you got it. Just inside half court, puts the Aces up one. Vegas won the single elimination game and advanced to the semifinals thanks to Hamby's heroics. Wow, what a play. Also, play number two. Are you going back to the 2016 WNBA Finals game five? After Maya Moore put the links up by one in the wild back and forth ending, Neka Wumake hitting a putback hey. shot. Hey, Chanae, sister, with three seconds left to give the Sparks the lead. The Sparks would hang on to win their first WNBA title since 2002. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Number one, 1999 WNBA Finals. New York Liberty, Houston Comets, Teresa Weatherspoon <laughs> from behind half court to give the Liberty the win and keep the best of three series alive. We had a dog pile there after that shot from Weatherspoon. New York's 18 points back the largest in WNBA finals history. Gotta sell my soul when I sell blue pills You could smoke off the floor, I got Oxy, Zanny Take off your panties, fresh like Manny Got a script from my granny